How about that Tetris effect? Pretty crazy, huh? It's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. It makes me feel all spiritually woke. Hey, Bob, start the episode before he recovers. <laughs> Is Devil May Cry canon to Tron, or what's going on here? Oh man, that's some good, like, Justice League sound effects. Hmm. <laughs> oh know, man, we should clap. You can express, Virgil, I'll let you. No, he's too, way, way too cool for that. Also, I forgot about the part where he, like, sliced your uh, amulet off, because that was a bit ago. Yeah, yeah, uh, well, yeah. Long time for us. Right. Last long time I mean, for the viewer, I assume. I, I think Jester mentioned it last episode. He did. Yeah, he, he referenced that. Jesus. Right. Needs a lot of blood, okay? You know, everybody who makes anything ever, there are, there are other more practical places from which to bleed than the palm of your goddamn hand. Ah, it heals in a couple seconds anyway, what's the matter? This one's cooler and easier to get to. Anyway, we wouldn't want to get his suit dirty. Right, no, that makes sense. When you send blood spraying everywhere, you really don't yeah. want to get your suit dirty. Right. I mean, just so we're clear, Virgil is a guy in denim, fingerless gloves, carrying around a big-ass katana. Yeah. Yeah, we've been over this. Is He's there ready something? to show you his wall scroll collection at is any there, moment. <laughs> is there a version where he's wearing a trilby? Uh, that's called DMC. Oh, and they no. patched that out. Wait. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh. I'm not kidding. They're like the. No. What? No. It's only right. funny when I say it, not when it actually happened. Yeah. No. Uh, anything you can say is is it's like probably it. in that game, right? But sincerely. Oh. I'm sorry. Are you excited for that let's play now? Oh, is that happening? Oh, I mean, no, of course. Bob would never stoop so low. <laughs> right? Um, I don't get to make choices on left place, Dan. Oh, jeez. Uh, uh, I'm a culpable for everything. Dan's over here like, I just let the dice decide. <laughs> Where do you even buy D6 if you can just say fuck them on every face? <laughs> <laughs> I, I assume that's at most <laughs> Dungeon <and> Dragon shops. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while since you had these nunchucks. Yeah, right. They're it's, real cool. I was like, ah, I don't Especially you shirtless. By the way, when did he become shirtless? Because oh. I feel like that happened at some point during this Let's Play, but... That's true. We just selected the shirtless option. Um... It was like never brought to anyone's attention. Well, maybe it was. Maybe no, it was. I don't think we even mentioned it. We just did it. Who knows? It just felt right. It felt natural. If, <laughs> as long as you have one save file that has costumes unlocked, all your save files have the costumes unlocked. Well, that's so smart. Just, that yes. makes sense. Right? These stairs are getting crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. This is the, when you can come here and just He's look at something. He's on Hell's later. Highway. Wait, wait. Dun, Wait, nah. this seems out of order. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a thing. Excuse me? A thing! An devil star! Yeah. I'm not even gonna use one of those this whole playthrough, I'm sorry. That's mean. <laughs> Why won't you just spam him in the last battle? Because it doesn't even help that much? Oh. Uh, I was gonna I guess... say, like, that's basically how I beat Fortune of Ruin. <laughs> it's true. I mean, you disgust me. <laughs> it really does help in, um... Yeah, Look, I played Charlotte the whole time. I was not going to unlock the true vampire killer. <laughs> God. <laughs> hey, this is a cool puzzle. Pretty cool, right? I spent a while in that first room going, how the hell does this make any sense at any point? And then it's like, oh, there's a wall. Ha. Knock yeah. down the wall, wall. There's also a secret up there. What? What's what's in there? It's a secret mission, so we're not going to do it. But Okay. You know. It looks cool, space. but it's a scurry face. Man, that's real spooky. Very spooky. Mm. Nori Halcon. Just hanging out. Yeah, like like most things in this castle. Tower. Obelisk. Tunnel. Demon World. GameStop. <laughs> Tequila! Tequila. Oh man, I forgot how how fast you can go through this level if you just know what you're doing. That's disgusting. We're not done yet, though, right? 
Well, there's a boss fight. Wait, what? That looked like it had way more slots. I thought those were slots and the three bars that moved nope. out of the way. It turns out the slot is the thing right next. Oh my God, wow, okay. <laughs> That's not how that normally goes. Why isn't this working? Is there something missing? Maybe I should've fucking Must killed that tour guy, right? <laughs> You seem to be in a bad mood. You know, you're really bad at problem solving when your first thought is, maybe, <laughs> that smile, uh. So, <laughs> you're really bad at problem solving when your first thought is, maybe I should bleed more. <laughs> 13. <laughs> I, Good plan, where, Pop. I didn't even see it, what Just happened? The <laughs> it was in the background behind Virgil. Is it a magic eye? You just need to stare at the screen and defocus to see it? It was, uh, scratched on the wall. It doesn't matter mm. to me one way killing me. Well, then it should still be in the room, so. I've come all this way. I'm sure they'll show it again. That's something this game will there do. There it is. Hey! Nah, that looks like a B. We'll see, then now he's just pointing at it. Why not? After all, we share the same blood. I'll just use more of yours to undo Daddy's little stuff. Now he's got new moves. <gasps> Pretty so, cool. You want a piece of me, little? Okay, bro. Come and get it, if you can. There should be a version of the next cutscene that happens where, uh, if you don't get hit once, it's just all of Virgil's blood in front of yours. <laughs> you know, picking shirtless Dante does have the advantage of it looking like he takes his jacket off before every fight. <laughs> That's pretty true. good. What are you gonna do, huh? You wanna do this? Okay, let's go. Takes off jacket, pulls out nunchuck, starts making Bruce Lee sounds. God, this guy's a douche. <laughs> I beat up a dog today. Let's do this, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, Dante strikes me as a Jose Cuervo type, but that seems a bit too top shelf for him. Did that guy just say he beat up a dog? My memory's getting hazy. <laughs> Let's rock! <laughs> Seems like you just have catchphrases instead of actual personality traits. These writers are getting lazy. <laughs> <laughs> My god! As long as he called attention to her, it's fine, right? <laughs> then we can clap, is that what you're saying? Or... Ah, he's switching. Back to the sword. It is a cool sword. Especially when you shoot it and he spins it and it stops the bullets. Because he's a cool dude. Glorious Nippon Steel cuts inferior lead bullets. Yep. And, uh... Folded 10,000 times. Boo. <laughs> I love that filter on the voice. It sounds great. Hasn't just always sounded really weird and bad. <laughs> I always thought it was cool. <laughs> yep, it is, yeah, you did. It is pretty cool. But the thing is, though, I feel like Bob's idea of cool works backwards from what's in a Devil May Cry game. <laughs> You're like, what? No, I love the movie versus... Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Bob goes around shirtless all the time, swinging nunchucks. <laughs> Can't tell this isn't in-game. <laughs> Agro's like, I can't tell. My vision's always this resolution. <laughs> That's rough, man. Look, the human Sorry, eye can't no see more than, girl. I don't know, so beat it. Shut up. stuff. <laughs> can't see more stuff. Come on. <laughs> Wait a second. I thought it was cutting through bullets. Why did it cut through the rocket launcher? Rocket launcher's pretty cool. Because it's made of steel. Foolish ah. girl. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll buy it. <laughs> yeah. She's just like, what am I doing here? <laughs> guys are quick. Jackass. Just shoot a rocket at the floor between them. <laughs> Way to settle, Agro. Bravo! Bravo. <laughs> I mean, that's how I, I win an armored core. <laughs> so you win an well armored core? Oh, yeah. Well I don't done. even believe that. You. No. There are many choice faces in this kind of scene. No, oh, I don't like any of them. The spanking from Daddy Leader. Just as gonna spank you, but spank you on the buffoon. I don't know where you came from, but you don't belong here. 
You tell us, Shomer. Jesus Christ. Zowie, that was close. But you've taken quite a trouncing today, haven't you, Virgil? You could have chopped me into confetti by now if you were in tip top condition. Damn you. You have lost. Damn. <laughs> Like top ten righteous anime because clown bitch slaps. It's a short list. <laughs> What's going on? Oops, did I write ten? I meant one. <laughs> Pure and innocent, just like your mother. You bastard! <laughs> Compare your daughter to your wife, and then licking your lips. Maybe don't. <laughs> just a thought. You want to know why the spell didn't break? Mm, Virgil, you have the two amulets and Sparta's blood. You had everything you needed to unleash the evil. I told you before. Evil. I don't like anybody who's a big amount. This is the perfect, mind. the best face in the game. <laughs> <laughs> you are wounded and weak. Top ten anime faces. <laughs> I can do. This to you. She's like, yeah, that was pretty dope. <laughs> a set of Sparta's blood. Now, I need one more key. This dope rocket <laughs> launch. <laughs> rocket to jumps to the demon world. <laughs> now, with the sacred town. rocket launcher of Akula Matheros. His own devil's <laughs> blood and a mortal priestess. <laughs> Oof. I needed you. In whose body flows the same blood as the sacrificed woman. His spell cannot be undone without your blood. So, is that a more or less efficient place to cut for blood, Agro? Please tell. I mean, like, most of the way through the thigh? Yeah, that'll pretty well do it. I feel like she's not gonna be able to recover very well. I feel like she's already dead from shock. <laughs> And since it's been six seconds, she's definitely dead from blood loss. It's time for bed, Mary. You can visit your dear mother. And now he's always horny on me. Whoa! Try me. It's time for the clown to bow out, Darkum. Dude, the show's over. Cussed his daughter. Uh, Impressive. Cool line. <laughs> I expected nothing less from the devil's descendants. <laughs> but aren't you forgetting something, Virgil? The spell is. I seems fine here. <laughs> what do you think will happen next? Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's Let's weird. Welcome, chaos. She has bandages later. <laughs> Does she really? She's yeah. clenching really hard right now. Right? She's flexing it shut. Yeah. It's disgusting. Oh, shit! Look at this dope-ass clown! I didn't know anime was this cool! See ya, bitches! Just Eddie Gordo's his way into hell. <laughs> I know, right? New god. <laughs> Fucking Lamagra. Shall take over the power of Sparta! His power is true darkness. Capoeira. <laughs> the progenitor of the lesser known Sparta kick. <laughs> I even I had just... to dress up like an idiot. Ten minutes later. <laughs> and that's how he rides in the hell. Yes. You dressed like an idiot. <laughs> Suck ass. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Man, this game is mean. <laughs> so, do you think we have time yeah, for Yeah, we got, we okay. got time for right. After last episode, I feel like we owe it to them. <laughs> <laughs> this city keeps changing every cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, now we get to see those statues that were uh we saw earlier in the game. Oh man, yeah, yeah those were on the up. floor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, is that what's oh my god. Yeah, you get to the clap a lot right now. I mean, my hands are so sore from clapping. I'm not going to, but I'll let you, Bob. That's fine. 
I, I gotta hold the controller. I can't clap. No, that's true. Agro, are you? I feel like if I ask why you keep saying the word clap, I'm gonna hate you more when you answer me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He doesn't watch Marvel films, is what he's saying. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. that does... I feel like <laughs> there wasn't enough material in there to just have... I don't, I don't know, the inverse of what the... the oh, no, that's, the, the, the thing was all underground. Okay. Yeah. I mean, the whole thing was underground, but then that thing right, was that also thing was more underground. even like, more like, underground. Like, 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 like Remiel is down there upside down, like a mile into the ground. Oh this, this, this is real good. This is... This is this is great. I wish Arca was literally saying what you're saying right now. <laughs> <laughs> that would really make my day. Better. Just like, oh, this is good. Oh, yeah. This uh, is mm. choice. Yeah. He's Jeff Goldblum is what I'm saying. He's just up there and he's like, ooh, uh, the next part is absolutely the best. The best. Everyone's going to love it. So first. John Malkovich is playing See, in, in the new yes. series, right? I'm going to finish yeah. him off. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> well, you might as well forget it because you're no match for him. Regardless, I must go. I had a chance to stop him before, but I couldn't. I'm responsible for all this mess. Responsible? Does it bother you that much? He's my father. Besides, who else can undo what he's done? She should get some better, like, nose guards or nose pads on her glasses, because they're leaving that mark on her nose every time she wears them. And I just, I don't know. A demon like you. Look, her glasses stand. also need a bayonet. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that's that's harsh. <laughs> that would be pretty righteous. It would be great if Dante right now is like, and then you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll go too. Oh, that's so much better. But you better hurry if you don't want me to take all the credit. Walk slowly. <laughs> Fourteen. So is this just what we're doing now? Scratching it into walls? Are we done with the... We kind of ran look, out of ideas. Look, you, you, you do 13 of these things, it gets hard. <laughs> Maybe I can afford that last... Drive, right. charge upward toward the sky. This is the most Japanese episode name sounding thing. <laughs> yeah. Goku's final battle. <laughs> 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 Are you Goku from the Devil May Cry series? <laughs> Wait. And that's when Goku becomes a member of the fan base and goes, Actually, it's Goku, son Goku. You need to pronounce the U, and then he's like, I'm done here. <laughs> All right, now we need to go to this um, statue to equip the Beowulf. So that way you can open that one door. Yes, because they want to make sure you pick up Beowulf. Good thing they put the statue right next to that door, huh? Good thing. Keep in mind, you don't... Those are just colors. You need to remember that the Beowulf glowed kind of whitish. Right. And then go, I see that statue all the way back there in the front of that door. You're supposed to do this in 480i. <laughs> <laughs> I should have wanted yeah, to. Yeah, do that. Yeah, that's a cool one. Yeah, look at him go. A strong dude. Yeah, Beowulf is still my favorite. Sweet the sweet dreams. Punching that's weapon. It. That's yes. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> I like the title screen. It's pretty good. Has that lead in? Oh yeah. Honestly, I do wish more Capcom games started with the main characters beating up the perspective. It's a very important thing. What it were? Okay. What? Yep. No. Yeah, no, the, the whole thing got the whole thing got destroyed. Uh, during the, the transformation. Yeah, yeah um, no. Okay. This, this is part of the game where we use content, but we actually, you know, alter it in some way. So it's not subspace emissary. Right. Got it's it. not the big cry for. The so combination dear. of him being shirtless and with those gloves and boots on, it's a bit much. So you're saying for the next part, we should maybe get rid of the shirtlessness? I mean, we could put him in something more respectable. Like a shirt. He could put a fucking shirt on. Puts a wife beater on him. <laughs> Whoopsie. So it's just Dante with Dante straight over his shoulders. Oops. What? <laughs> what? Okay. I, I wasn't able to get around because he was right next to a pillar. Is jumping over him not? No, he'll hit you with his sword. Oh. I see. Let's see, and there we go. Yeah, these enemies are kind of silly. No, really. But yeah, they, they use that. Oh, neat. 
I like how they move up against a wall. That's that's right. fun. It's great. That's a fun thing. Real fast-paced action going on here. Yep. Could be worse. Could be dice-based. You're right. Yeah. Look though. forward to Devil May Cry 4, please. What was it? Kamiya was like, someone asked him, did you learn anything from Devil May Cry 4? Like, and took that lesson into account for your game? And he's like, yeah, no dice segments ever. <laughs> yeah. Can, can we just play, like, No More Heroes instead? I worry that that will be horrible going back to, but I guess it'll be funny at least. I mean, it'll be funny. That's all I expect. I, right. The open world part was always bad. Right, I remember that being just absurd that they even put it in. It was like, this is so bad. But you got to like pick up coconuts and shit. Oh, wow. <sighs> coconuts. Wow, you're describing Donkey Kong 64 at this point. <laughs> People are like, you do not pick up coconuts, you pick up bananas! You are a fake Donkey Kong 64 fan! <laughs> oh man, those do exist. Ugh. <laughs> right that on my fucking tombstone. <laughs> uh, why, so they can dig you up and burn you? I don't... <laughs> what are you trying to accomplish with that? <laughs> do you have a tattoo on your chest that says rare to the core? <laughs> <laughs> He has to say it every time, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's neat. Um, the community has a name for combos that end with him saying something like that. I can't remember what it is. I think they're just called crazy combos. Oh my god, I can't. Sure, yeah, uh-huh. But I mean, to be fair, that is what this combo is getting. Fair. <laughs> Dan was not ready for the... I just... I... It's fine. It, it's fine. There we go. It's fine. Yeah, when you have this many bars to burn on it, you can really do some damage. Oh, yeah. What is it with people who build fantasy castles and just not liking handrails? It looks really cool, Agro. I don't know what to tell you. It looks like falling into lava is what it looks like. Yeah. So you're saying it looks pretty lit. <laughs> you no, know, I didn't. For oh. the record, I did not say uh, that. Okay, I and I have never said that. <laughs> Huh. Oh man, what a what a cool enemy. <laughs> I don't know. The, the chess pieces are cool. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, is there an entire chess set scattered through this game? Yes. Awesome. It's, it's hilarious. It just it makes me think too much about four. I don't know. Sorry for bringing that baggage into three. Yeah, no, it's not great. I try not to, but Let's be real, I'm gonna bring that package into five. <laughs> yes, fair. Good thing that game looks great. And, and Bob has said, as long as he gets the TV, he's fine with me playing on the Xbox One X. So, you know, I'll just have to buy another 4K TV. <laughs> <laughs> Stick on the other side of this room. Our, um, this TV, this year's model of this TV uh, is on sale for Black Friday. Oh yeah? It's still $500 more than we paid for ours because we bought when they were phasing out the old bottles and bringing in the new ones. Nice. So I was like, oh, hey, it's on... Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually the best uh, weapon to learn how to do jump canceling with. So, you know. Oh, I thought you were going to say to fight these enemies. No, there's no elemental advantage against them, I don't think. So why why is it the best weapon to learn how to jump it'll, cancel? Because it'll automatically push you farther towards the enemy, and part of being able to jump cancel is being close enough to the enemy to jump to off jump, of them. Yeah, to jump off of them. So it just gets right there, gets in good positioning to just keep doing it over and over. This area is uh, miserable. Yeah, this is definitely the, the worst area of the game. Oh, so we're just doing this over and over? This is quite literally a pile of combat rooms. Awesome. Yeah, I think there's a correct path. I really don't know it, though, because that Imagine... other room looks almost identical. It's yeah, really yeah, no, it's starting to miss the easy. combat train. I just, right? uh... For one, that was a tempered wagon. Two, I, I feel like if the entire game was this, that would be an Inti Creates game. <laughs> Um, it has any idea what's doing with combat, so really no. <laughs> oh. But Fair. it's sticking you in too small of a room, so, you know. Do, 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 do. 
it's hard to even take advantage of anything the combat system is doing in this tiny of areas. Yeah, no, I I get it. Wow, you're sure lost. Oh, I got it. Oh, hey. That's right, we'll like what you were looking for. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Right. Mm. Hey, Agro. Yo. How's it going? Uh, you know, stuff. You, did you know Analog's making that uh, Mega SG thing? It's like their Super NES replacement thing where it's HDMI out and just really high quality, but for the Genesis. Nice. Yeah. It actually works with the Sega CD. Ah. Yeah. It's also going to come with a Master System adapter so you can play Master System games straight on it and then later down the road, Game Gear adapter and shit. Ooh. Yeah, no, that's the hype shit for me. Mm-hmm. Can't it's wait for you to continue to not shut the fuck up about Tales Adventure. Hell yeah! <laughs> Hey, you know what's a great game? Doesn't have combat rooms? <laughs> Tales Adventure. Hey, you know what game has a lot of charm and amazing music? Mm. Tales Adventure. Now, I've heard a lot about Tales Adventure. Yeah. But I, th I think the question that we all need answered about it yeah. is in what ways specifically is Tales Adventure just like Dark Souls? Oh, no. So... What? It has frame rate problems. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it is just like Dark Souls. <laughs> I said it has frame rate problems, not chronic, debilitating frame rate problems. There we go. Maybe. No. Yeah, this, that's it. This is the next. Uh, I'm sorry, everyone. This is, no, it's this fine. is literally the worst part of the game. Yeah, like, this I, at the end of a recording session was the best thing we've done all night. Like, I, I really didn't expect this game to just take a left turn into the movie Cube. But I mean, Mega Maker already did. Why wouldn't this? <laughs> you know, I, I feel like we should watch the movie The Cube and then replay that level. <laughs> Be like, oh, I get it. <laughs> because when we were playing that level initially, I was thinking, wow, that fucking shut them the fuck up, right? Yeah. <laughs> Goddamn. That was pretty sweet. Agreed. Okay. I was like, Bob, no, that's... Right. Right, no. I was really worried there. The hunt is that way. Stop turning around after combat. <laughs> Please, God. <laughs> you know, KZ gave me shit in the Kingdom Hearts, uh, was it one or two? It was two. Let's play, because wait, at wait, the wait. very end... They give you a shot of like where you're supposed to go, right? Mm -hmm. And they hide a save point on the left behind the HUD. Oh. And the only way you can tell is it's slightly glowing. And he's just, I'm like, is there a save point? Is it up ahead? And he's like, it's right behind you. And I'm like, what? No, it, that wasn't on screen. Don't you give a shit for this. Hiding the save point. So it's just like Dark Souls. God fucking, I can't. <laughs> I would say the combat rooms have driven Agro insane, but no, they merely caused him to surface his insanity. I brought out of this boredom. madness with me. What is this? Yeah, teleports you back to this love planet from the very beginning of the game. What? It's so weird. But it's like, it's why would you do that though? What do you need to do? But here? but now Gray Fox yeah, has been look, here. Look at that craziness. It's like some statue that's popped out of the ground with a teleporter next to it. I don't know. But why are you? Well, I gotta get to the outside of the thing. You gotta find that L. You've gotta get to the outside of the tower. Yeah. That was our goal? I guess. Are you meaning this to tell the, me that Dante's this, idea at the very beginning was a good one? What the shit? One? <laughs> it's like, no motorcycle, I'll Wait. catch you. <laughs> it doesn't do that. Since when does it do that? Uh, I'm telling you, you can make a version of Lord's Shadow out of it. Did I, did I not? Tell you about how uh, the Devil Bringer was originally an idea for a weapon in Devil Bear Cry 3. Yeah, was that idea? Was that weapon the nunchucks? <laughs> it was probably some sort of whip. Are we going back up the tower? Yeah, he's driving up the tower with the motorcycle because it's really cool. God damn it. Yeah, <laughs> this fucking tower. Yeah, that's the weakest point of Devil May Cry 3, the point where they're like, you should go up the tower and then jump off the tower and then go up the tower again. Are we going in the tower again? Uh, we are. But he's gonna do this. This yeah, is real cool. Right, at least they were like, well, at least let's make it cool. <laughs> and to think they did this and then thought in the next game, it's a weapon. <laughs> Apparently they wanted it to be a motorcycle weapon in this game. 
Oh my god, how many That's great ideas? That's what it looks like, a weapon intro. <laughs> how many great ideas were there for Devil May Cry 3 that they just didn't finish? I guess a lot. Because right now it sounds like both 4 and 5 are runoff from 3. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that cutscene was really nice. Yeah, 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 yeah! The, the executive producers for the months of January 2019 are Fitz Pulver, Nicholas Cameron, Ely Boyles, Brendan O'Sullivan, Star Falcon, Spaceman Spiff, Danny Richardson, Dwight Art, and Wadonis. Thanks, everybody. Oh, so these guys, all oh, their names are gone. If you want to help us make more videos, go over to patreon.com slash gigaboots today. This is a really catchy song.